how is it going, people? Joining here with uh, Zoe, uh, the Stone Chelsea fan. Uh, Zoe, how are you? Uh, Loki, uh, Loki, off camera, she told me she doesn't play fantasy, but I realized she's 128 points, uh, 27, just one behind mine, but she has not joined the football uh, football fan TV gang group or league on fantasy. I don't know why she's not doing it. So, why are you fearing? I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not just this for fun. Yeah. So, why did, why did you join our group? Because, you know, uh, probably at the end of the month, we're giving the winner who happens to be giddy right now 50k, little money, but you can do something. So, you should join because you have you're just one point behind. You never know this game will you go to the next one. Yeah? So, how many points did you get the uh, last weekend? For well, last game week, I mean, game week, game week two. Uh, I had 62. 62. I had 61. Funny enough. So I think you can beat me in the next one. So let's let's see our group before we go to some some facts for this gaming game with game three. In our group, uh, number one is uh, Gidi. Gidi FC has 144 points. Then Team Kasawala, uh, that's number two, has 138 points. Then we have Riverdale FC has 138. Then Virtual Com Concepts has 134 points. And then Love FC, that's my team, has 128. Then uh, there's Poches, Quick Force, this is a Chelsea fan, I believe, Arab, has 127 points. And Pirates FC, this is Jose, Jose has 121 points. And Eraskom, to an end, has 119. Then Waraji Boys, funny name, yeah? Waraji Boys has 117 points. Then Benji's team, Cardinio FC, has 114. Then Lex Gang 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 has 109. Then Takashi FC has 106. Then uh, Muchele FC, who was number one in game week one, so now he's number 13 this time. He has 104, uh, that is Patrick. Then we have uh, Chocolate Noe FC, 98 points. And then Roy of one uh, four four pictures has 98 points. Slimato has 96 points. Soil Dust, Granix's team has uh, 96 points. Junior Strikers, that is Fred Junior, has 96. And then Tise. FC, I think this one joined uh, from my YouTube link. Uh, he has 95 points. And Drico in it has 92. Goma United FC, uh, nine, uh, 73. Then Quindom, 22nd, has 45 points. And then DJ Sharif UG has 32 points. So basically, that's the Football Fan TV uh, League on Fantasy. We also have head to head as well. But you've seen the table as we're running it there. That's the best. Remember, at the end of the month, oh, yeah, we'll be giving out 50,000. You can earn money. That's around $13 or $12 to the one who took the group. Uh, if you have not joined the group and you wish to be part of the group, the link is in the description. Make sure you join and be part of uh, the competition. So, so which players stood out for you this game? That was the points. Um, there are four. There are four. Um, there are Kaiser, Kaiser, these are a must. Like in every game week, mm -hmm. I think going uh, all the way until the end of the season, these are a must. Mm -hmm. um, number one, defense is to be done. Like it's a must. Like if I'm going to one game week two, mm -hmm. it's going to go on into my future no matter who is playing. Mm. His opinion is a must. Mm. Second of all, Sonny March is a must. Mm. I don't since last season, actually since last season, he's been phenomenal. And this season he's just I think two goals every yeah. match. Yeah. Uh, Mitoma always. Mm. And then this game week I uh, use my free transfer to put in the Um I, I lost the previous game week I had down with Darwin Junior. Mm. Uh so I wrote him, which is which is a very good decision. I put in Risa, who had a total of 11 points uh, this game week. Uh, this game week. And the only problem I had was trusting Onana with my ball and putting Ariola on bench, thinking that Chelsea would actually make on, uh, or Ariola yeah, suffer. And he saved the penalty. Yeah, he saved the penalty. I had yeah. I had Ariola as well on my bench. I have Martinez. He got me a clean sheet, yes. But then Ariola, on the other hand, had 10 points. Yeah. Martinez had 8, so go on. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I had. Uh, the only problems I had in my team were Gabriel again not playing, not starting for Arsenal. And then having uh, Rashford. Rashford. Missing one on one. In my fantasy. <laughs> that, is, that is a killing my points. Rashford, mm. I believe, Rashford, I don't know. And having, um, having Gabriel. I, I was trusting to keep Gabriel because I thought Gabriel won. Mm. So definitely playing for the next game week. Mm. So it was like a tactical game. Tactical, that's yes. Really Sorry, sorry. But now, uh, for me, the thing that hurt me most was Haaland with my captain. Yeah, for all of us. Yeah, so he got me four points. On the other hand, Mbwemo. 
Uh, the highest, the highest this week, I got 120 points. Actually, that is game week two. This is the team we had. He had Alison Becker, he was his vice captain, two points. Then Estupinian got him 11. Saliba got him eight with a clean sheet. Uh, Cash, Aston Villa got him six points. Weirdly, he has Diogo Zota. Zota got him 12 points. He has Odegaard 11 points. Buemo, with his captain, got him 32 points. Then Harvard, this guy has gold. Eh? He has Harvard. Then uh, Wisa, 11 points. Darwin needed. Uh, Nunes, that's how I call him. Darwin Nunes, one point, and then Haaland, two points. He played his bench boost. He had uh, Martinez, eight points. Mitoma, 12 points. Trippier, two points. And then Baldock had zero points. That was, that was the best or the highest this game made. Well, uh, before we end it, uh, we have tips probably for players who should be let go and players who should be having this week. But first, make sure you touch to the channel if it's your first time. You'll be getting some tips from us as we watch out for the game with three that is going to be coming uh, this weekend. Which players are you going to be having or which players you should not have and all that. So, shout out to Extras so always hosting us. So, shout out to the one who can get the QG for giving us those who, uh, those hookups with the kids, the jerseys, and everything. Make sure you reach out to them. The links in the description. So, Game week three, uh, who should we watch out for for you? Um, personally, I think that uh, you should actually go for... Um, if you have Newcastle people, I don't know. If, I think we should like relax on the Newcastle for now. Not just for the fact that they Man City in the previous game week, but now that it, uh, this week they're going to have Liverpool. And we don't know how we're going to play about that. So it's better if you go for people who are going to play like, the most simple game. Mm -hmm. Like um, uh, City is going to be playing Southampton. I think that you should, uh, now this is the time we can now push the Haaland back in the captain mm. because the Brighton guys, uh, while they played really well in their uh, previous two game weeks, they actually have West Ham this game week, so we're not even sure if they'll be able to go the same back number at this time because West Ham will be playing really well in the previous game weeks. Uh, but Brentford has to go Haaland, so it is, if you don't have a goal, you can use it at least at the same time to put it at least either in Bremo or West Ham because I really believe that. Brentford really going to play really well against Crystal Palace, um, and I believe Onana now has a chance to relieve himself by playing uh, Nottingham Forest. I'm not risky. I'm not risky. Yeah, because uh, there is those guys have a one year who can score any time they have Brendan Johnson and Manu. Oh, that's a one year guy. Yes, yeah? Manu won't keep a clean yeah, sheet. So yeah. basically, yeah, maybe try your luck. But also, um, you can actually also try keeping people. A lot of people putting a chill wall for their past two game weeks because in the past week it's more in the second one week. It's not for draft week, mm -hmm. but this weekend he has been to town. And I believe, I believe while Chelsea had really bad results in the last game week, I don't believe that, uh, I believe that they'll still keep a very clean sheet for this. My instincts were telling me to have Modric this week and he's going to score his first goal. But I'm seeing some weird news that he's not part of the Chelsea team training. Yeah. So basically, I don't know, but I tipped Modric to score a goal this coming weekend because Luton, come on. It's going to be like a trashing that they would get at some point. It would be like three goals or four goals. Chelsea would want to bring all that anger from the previous game and, you know, put it on Luton. So players you should sell uh, before the game week or before the deadline. John Stones, Man City, yes. is out for a few weeks until September. When he returns, it's not a straightforward guarantee he will return. So basically, you should sell him, get another password. Then Rhys James is also out for weeks and part of the Chelsea team that needs to settle. Chelsea's team is still not settling. Probably sell him, go for some other defender. Then uh, Hamis Madison or James Madison, uh, he left the Spurs Stadium on crutches after that game. So yes, the first game he had assists, he was man of the match. Second one, he had a good game, but no numbers, but he left with crushes. So basically, uh, you should uh, sell or you should hold him. You should just have some good backup on the bench who can probably stand in for him. Now, for players you should have, we already said, we already said uh, Soli March. He is rated at uh, 6.6 .6 million. Make sure you get him because he's going to be getting your assists, he's going to be getting your goals as well. Then Wisa, she already uh, did a mention Wisa. Then uh, Mbwemu as well. If you don't have Mbwemu, you should be getting that one. And a surprising one. Is such a way for moving on for it. He's rated at 4.5. Yeah. He can play as a wing back and as a right back. So basically, you should put him in because he's going to be whipping in those crosses and the one is there to take yeah. them home. So basically, that's, those are the tips we have for you this week. Uh, we hope uh, you are above the average. Yeah, that's first game with Avengers below average. So, <laughs> so make sure you are above the average this game with three. Uh, check out our group. The link is in the description. The league. Join in and stand a chance to win uh, $50,000, 13 or $12, uh, that's the money that will be given you at the end of the month for the top of the group. 
So, any other tip for someone? Close to your eyes. No, so, no, 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 no more ones. Much is when you are stupid. Also, the most people should leave your, your fantasy unless they're in the district. I always have one bad degree. I feel like it's just things and these are people are going to have like, two, like, two end of season for conference. If it's all for last season, yeah. it's to be a match. It's all for a guy who performs until the end of the season. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to see, um, we're looking forward to seeing people that like, watch the cup back. You know, Saka, Saka is just yeah. the cup back and the conference. We do not want to have to put the negative to move in their place of living because we trust what Saka can do. We trust what Rashford can do. We can trust what Odegaard can do because you know we people have this people on their team for previous seasons what they can do and the numbers they put in practice. So we don't want to have to like move them and put them on their current performance and then they can put later on in the season. Just hold on to your people. Like a bit, it's just the first thing. Okay, that's all we had for you this week, Joey. It was a pleasure having you here. Uh, good uh, tips for the people out there. Just one thing, stay above the app. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification, tell someone about the board, and then comment with your team, you'll comment with the tips that you see, you think or will help someone this game next week. And we'll, we'll also listen to your tips as well. Uh, from us here, shout outs and see you on the next one. <laughs>